going to. I ain't burying the lead. The most talked about sports moment of the weekend. Wasn't NFL. Nope. Wasn't the Cowboys. And that's rare. It is rare that the Cowboys at this time of the year aren't on everyone's A block. Not this Monday. Not today. No siree. At the top of everyone's talking points, the University of Colorado, Colorado University, however you want to put it, the fighting prime timers went on down there to Fort Worth, Texas and got a dub against the runner-up national number 17 in the country, runner-up national champions, TCU Horn Frogs, 45-42. And I'm telling you, I don't know where to start. I told you guys last week. We're talking about Dion. Dion has that Floyd Mayweather impact. He has that Floyd Mayweather uh, 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 energy around him. Where, when Floyd was in his prime, no pun intended, but when Floyd was in his prime, it 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 wasn't just a boxing match. Oh no, it was an event. You just didn't come just to see the boxing match. You came and you saw it all. It was an event when you watched Prime Floyd fight. I was lucky enough. Uh, I went and saw a young Canelo and, 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 and Floyd fight in Vegas. Boy, was it an event. Boy, was it an event. I wasn't lucky enough to be in Fort Worth to watch that game in live, but I watched it on TV, and I hadn't had that much excitement. As someone who's played two sports at the collegiate level, played in the National Football League, I haven't had that much excitement to watch an opening weekend game versus two schools who I have zero rooting interest for in my life. It was an event. If you were on social media, you saw that any and everybody was watching this football game and was talking about this football game and in the words of primetime, baby, it did not disappoint. It was a back and forth game. And, and, and let me just say this. Kudos to Coach Prime, to his staff, to his faculty, to, to, the, to the Buff Nation. Nobody really believed outside of y'all. I, I do, and there are some people who I know who are close to Dion. My good friend Michael Irvin, my good friend Nate Newton. I know those guys are rooting for Dion to be successful, and have been around Dion their entire, like not entire life, but their adult lives, or teammates of him, or friends of him, and, and they believe. But outside of that, there wasn't many people who truly believed that this was possible. Like, let me just take you through a timeline of how all this stuff goes down. Dion leaves Jackson State. However you feel about him leaving Jackson State, that's on you. That man went and took a better job. The same thing that you would do if someone was giving you a better job to do what you love to do, you would take the job too. So don't miss me with all that. He left on that HBCU. Please. Y'all would have bounced too. Okay? You go from making a couple hundred thousand and the money ain't going where it's supposed to go. Your, your, your assistant coaches are, are, are starving. Your facilities ain't where it need to be. And you brought notoriety to that program. You brought winning to that program. You brought the attention to HBCUs. My time here is done. I've served my purpose here. Dion served his purpose. He goes to a Power 5 school in Colorado who gave him a shot. Some other schools didn't give him a shot. Some other schools didn't even interview him. Before Sonny Dykes took this job, he was at SMU. Dion tried to get the TCU job. You know, I get it. I'm not saying you have to hire Dion, but he goes to a better situation. And we all remember the commentary. He said it. He told us, I'm coming. We coming. And I'm bringing my luggage. And it's Louie. I love it. I love it. He said, I'm coming and I'm bringing my luggage. It's Louie. That means it, it, that's the top of the line. I, I, I happen to own a Louie duffel bag. I've owned it for a while. That thing is still in great shape. Dion said, I am coming. We are coming and I'm bringing my luggage. It's Louie. And everybody uh, uh, had an opinion. They, 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 they scoffed at him and said, how dare you? you? And then he comes to Colorado and he does something unconventional. He goes, 
Everyone that was here wasn't good enough to win. Y'all might want to enter the transfer portal. Y'all might well go ahead and get a, and get a jump start because what I'm getting ready to do, a lot of y'all, y'all can't be a part of this. And people said, how dare you and how dare he, even though all of your favorite, favorite college coaches do the same thing. They all do the same thing. They bring in guys. You, college football doesn't have unlimited amount of scholarships. When you go into the transfer portal and when you go and get other guys that come to your school and stuff like that, somebody got to go. Somebody has to go. It is the nature of the business. But because Dion is Dion, everybody didn't like the way he did things. But Dion was right up front with you. He said, listen, everybody can't go. Let that be a life lesson to y'all. Everybody can't go. Some of y'all going to have to get dropped off. And it was some reports people saying, you know, a kid comes out and he goes, well, you know, I can't get my film from. Well, nobody gets film. When you're no longer part of the program, you don't get, you don't get to get film. And you didn't even play. But that's another story for another day. But Dion comes in unconventionally cleans house. Brings in 51 new students, student athletes. 51. Overall, 80. Talk about changing the culture. And even still, people talked about, well, this team was 1-11 last year. They, no one talked about Colorado. And, and, and Prom told y'all early on, there's a few players, that position already set. Y'all already got a quarterback. His name is Shador Sanders. We good there. I, I got another guy who's going to play receiver and cornerback. He, trust me, tra named Travis Hunter. We good there. And I got some more dogs coming. And he brought more players in and more players in. And all of a sudden, in, in, in six to nine months, this thing went from being the laughing stock of the Pac-12 to, hold on now, Colorado getting some buzz. Colorado also said, we don't got the money to pay you right now, Deion, but we're going to figure it out. AD said, we ain't got the money. Rick George said, we don't have the money, but we're going to figure it out. And they sold out the spring game. Season tickets have been sold out. Merchandise have been flying off the shelf. My good friend Nate Newton, when he traveled to Boulder to see his friend, he brought me back a T-shirt. Didn't know I was going to wear it today, but I'm glad I had one in the closet. I believe, Dion. And it leads up to this point. And as a lot of people have said, and this is, and I get it. People look at it and say, you know, most guys who wear yellow jackets, gold jackets, they don't really turn out to be good coaches. You know, the, the greats are just great at playing. They ain't really great at coaching. But if you just take a moment and think about this, Dion ain't just jumping to coaching. This wasn't just something he's like, you know what? I feel like I'm going to go coach. Dion has put in the time, energy, and effort. He has put in the sweat equity. He's put in the 10,000 hours since he had his truth programs here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Then he coached high school football. Then he went to Jackson State, and now he's at a power five. So it's not like Dion used his celebrity to elevate himself, to skip the line like a lot of coaches do. Coaches' sons, coaches' sons-in-laws, friends of friends who get hooked up because my daddy coached with him before, and now I want to coach. So No, Dion put in his 10,000 hours. At every single level. And the thing that is consistent with Dion at every single level, he won. He, he won in his truth programs who had baseball, football, basketball, all that. He won at Trinity Christian in high school. He won at Jackson State, the HBCU. And right now he's winning in Colorado. He's definitely winning the media portion of it. And he went, he went and did the impossible. And you can't take that away from him. He didn't skip the line. He could have. This is Deion Sanders. This is one of the best players in NFL history. One of the best players in college football history. One of the best players in high school football history. He could have easily skipped the line. And went right to the top. But he paid his dues. He paid his dues at every single level he won. And he came here, and what I love about it is that he told you what he was going to do. Now, this doesn't mean that they're going to win the rest of these games this season and go be undefeated. Possibly, I don't know. But out the gate, he comes in, and he changes the program. 
and he's doing it in a way that's so unconventional. And, and I, I had this tweet. I got to find it. I, I got to pull this tweet up that I said about what Dion. Dion didn't reinvent the wheel, okay, at all. Dion didn't reinvent the wheel, but what Dion reminded us all of are some very, very important principles when it comes to winning in sports. And I'm a firm believer that sports, especially football, can be translated and related to everyday life. Here's what Dion reminded us. Dion reminded us that the, the, one of the formulas that's important in, in sports, especially when you come somewhere new, it's setting a, uh, uh, it's setting a culture of standards. See, those kids that was there last year, those kids had a level of standard that we didn't, it, everybody played. It was almost like participation. Everyone played, yeah, we suck, and they believed that they sucked. So they worked as if they sucked. They worked as if they were never going to win football games. And Dion knew from the start, when, when, when big CEOs buy companies, what they usually do is they come in, they kind of interview everybody, but they eliminate a lot of people. They let them go. They said, because the culture that I have to set, all of you have been set in your ways. And there's a reason that we're coming in buying this company on the low end. Because the people who the culture has been set about, the standards have been so low that we don't even want this to, to be even infested with the new people that we bring in. Because our standards are different. Dion, I think, is honest with his players. He's going to tell you, you're going to play, you're not going to play. Here's what I need. Here's what I don't need. You're going to make it. You're not going to make it. Like he told those kids. He interviewed and met with all those kids. He said, hey, buddy, you might want to get in the portal now. And I'll do whatever it is I can do to help you in your next destination. But you're not going to play here under me. See, a lot of y'all can't take that because honesty, real honesty, you guys got soft skin. You got thin skin. So when someone is real honest with you, you're, 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 you're insulted. No, I want someone to be honest with me. You're good enough. You're not good enough. You're going to play. You're not going to play. Then I can deal with that truth. A lot of y'all can't deal with the truth. And I think Dion reminded us of that. Be honest with your players. Let them know from up front, here is the standards. Here what I think you can do and what I think you can't do. Either you will or you won't. And some of y'all, when you get the truth... You're not man or woman enough to realize and look yourself in the mirror and say, that is the truth, and do something about it. The third thing I thought Dion did was, you're going to need a few dogs. You're going to need a few dogs, you're going to need a little few athletes. If you're going to win in sports, you're going to need some dogs. I love that. If you look at the jerseys of Shador and look at the jerseys of, 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 of Travis Hunter, they have an L, what normally it's a C for captain. They have one, some has L, some has a D. And Dion said, I don't do captains. He said, I have leaders and I have dogs. He said, not every leader is a dog and every, every dog is a leader. But I have leaders and I have dogs. See, even that kind of gives you, he's a dog. I stamp that. He's a leader. I stamp that. And he says, every leader ain't a dog. And every dog ain't a leader. Cool. Be a leader. Do what I ask you to do as a leader. Don't worry about being, you ain't a dog. You ain't a dog. You a leader. Be a leader. And dog, you ain't a dog. You ain't a leader. You a dog. Be a dog. See, that's the honest truth that a lot of people couldn't handle. I thought, I said number four was he hired some good people. Ooh, this is important. Assistance. He hired some folks that, was, that believed the same thing that he believed, worked the same way that he worked, had a vision that he, that he had, uh, wanted to ha help these kids uh, to identify the dogs and the leaders, hire your assistants. Assistants are key. If you're going to do anything in life or in sports, you're going to need some people around you. You're going to need some people around you that kind of actually know more than you know. See, a lot of y'all want to get yes men in y'all camp, in y'all circle. Then I said, I need some folks that know more than me. And I've been in the league a long time. But I don't know everything. And I'm going to trust these folks that I put around me. And then last but not least, belief. Like I told you how to start this thing. Whatever it is, you got to believe in it. I believe so much in unfiltered with Jesse Holly, it stinks. I'm not sitting there trying to be on my Dion stuff. But boy, you don't know what I went through to get to this point. 
and how much I believe in this and how much I believe that this is my time. That what I'm doing today is God given divine purpose. And the same thing with Dion. 